All right, everybody. Make a little video here. I am pulling a water tank. Um, yeah, it's, the float's dirty, but it's about a couple days where the feed in the bottom of it is that. Um, so this these tanks had uh, a little valve right here for when they would uh, to keep them from freezing up, and that I keep having a problem with those going bad. So bought this and I'll set it out here it's uh they're called micro sweeps and what it is it's gonna the way it was explained to me there's like a gel in this part of this tube and then there's a set of I'll pull it out and there's a set of plungers in here and as it gets the water temperature hits a certain uh degrees I think it's 40 but it may be colder than that this uh expands this way and pulls these plungers and runs water through. So it uh, starts running water through your tank. But I'll get it uh, put on there and we'll go from there. All right, so got it together. Got my bushing. Uh, what it is is, oh, if you can see that plunger in there. But there's, there's a little plunger in there and that's the back side of it. There's just a gel, what I was told, there's a gel pack in here. And this thing will sit down in the water and you get down to whatever temperature and that will expand and push those plungers that way and it causes the water to run out up through this top and run out through the hose. So, just, I'm just gonna thread it up in here. Gotta love all the kef boogers in here. That's, that's probably the the biggest thing on these tanks when they get dirty is all the kef snot. So a bunch of little piggies. You can see what they had for breakfast today. The corn in here. And, yeah. <sighs> okay, so there it is. Um, yeah, it should just run through and then got the little hose down here and we are supposed to have, uh, next week is supposed to be really cold or it's not, it's not going to be really cold. Um, but we're not supposed to get, you know, above freezing for the, for the week, but we're supposed to get, you know, flirt right there with it. So, which we've had a pretty mild winter. I got a mouse living down in here. But yeah, we're we're supposed to have a pretty mild winter. Got my insulation back around it. I'll get my plate put back up here. And I'll get everything done. I got one more to do. I got two more, but I'm gonna do one more today. The other one's in a barn, which uh the one the other one's in that receiving barn. Ah, oh, and it it it's amazing that one that one won't freeze like these will but i've got the other those two done i've got one more down here but yeah so that's kind of what's going on um this pin of kevs got emptied out this morning now i'm coming and, and clean this pan it's it's due it's well past due for cleaning got our kevs out here on wheat that need to go uh, be about 10 days from now is the earliest I can send them because that's when my ship shipping contract is so yeah it's time to get them gone we keep having troubles with calves going through fences so we had to sort them for like the third time and it's getting pretty old um, especially today I about almost uh Almost broke my leg this morning. Got pinned up against a fence uh, by a bunch of calves that we were getting out of here. and So now I'm hobbling around pretty good. But anyways, 
that's kind of what's going on this is the other pin that needs to be cleaned out I uh, say when I, I built this I didn't put concrete aprons in and uh, it, it's not honestly it hasn't been a big deal for me really haven't had an issue with it but uh, this pins these pins are really dirty these pins have never been I've never hauled manure out of them since we built them so this is what the third third year fourth year third year something like that um, and and the reason why like I've got those pins cleaned away from the the bunk so they're not bad like this this one's this one's pretty bad but uh, you know we're so dry here that the ground underneath it if you take if you take this this hard pack this pin pack off um, and it hasn't had time to get the ground moist underneath then it just turns into blow sand and uh, they're just really really uh, really bad so that's why we left let these pins actually get that feed pin base to them and uh, we'll actually we'll start though we'll clean them this year and spread it on the fields so but the calves are sitting there messing with the feed troughs getting the getting the feed that they spilled underneath it so our triticale is starting to green up i don't know if you can see that it's real it's starting to peak up it wants to grow so we will as soon as these calves come off we'll start irrigating this uh, i was actually looking at the pivots yesterday in the well and making sure everything is ready to go and what we needed to do to get it ready to go so well i'm gonna get my parts and go do the last one so um, like I said, if, I mean, if you've never seen these before, they're called micro sweeps. So this is what what was on it, just a little uh, valve. Which the problem we have with these is they'll just blow out, and uh, these things freeze really bad or something. You know, they just we can't run them open enough, uh, or we get too much water out of them. And so if you get anything in them, they'll just gunk up and and break. So. I don't know we haven't had much luck with them but anyways that's somebody was a couple guys were asking about more feed yard videos that's what we're doing in the feed yard as far as we're getting ready to start rebuilding all of our our fence on the other side uh, we've got a couple of them done and now we're gonna as soon as we can we're gonna start yanking them out because this is oh sorry about that this is definitely the last year for that old fence like we're just we can't do it anymore it's just it's just gone there's nothing to it we got more panels in it than we do fencing so time to get it out and and put the new continuous fence in and go on with life so we'll leave you with that